Hello to all of our dear friends. I hope you're doing great and feeling well. Welcome back to one more video from Hyperpix Productions. So I'm Mary and today I'm here with one of our new products, which is named Halftone Machine. Uh, so what Halftone Machine does is to convert your images with one click in up to more than 80 Halftone styles, uh, which allows you to just get uh, vector outcomes and use it in all your different projects. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can work with this fantastic product to access. Just uh, right now, refer to the link in the description, which you see, and just join the VIP account, get the membership and have a complete access to this product and also every other single product you see in our websites, plus the future updates which we're going to add for you. Uh, so let's get started to see how we can work with this amazing product. Uh, I have arranged two images for this video, which we're going to uh, run the action on these images. The first step is to import the action into Photoshop. So open your Photoshop, just select one of your images uh, and open the actions from the window. The action window would open, you might see some folders right here, but we don't need any of them. The only action we need is uh, the action we need to add. So there's many ways to add the action. The easiest way is to just double click on the action. I have um extracted uh half tone machine out of the zip form we just double click on it and as you see as simple as you see it appears right here half tone machine by hyperpix so there's other many ways as well for instance you can just open uh this window here and stick load actions but the easiest way is what you just saw right now uh so a half tone machine is created from two sections uh, it's very easy if you just want a special area of your image uh, to convert into half tone you need to just uh, select selective area and if you want the whole of your image into a half tone effect just select full area I'm going to uh, start with uh, the second option I open my image and just uh, choose selective area it gives us a message which is telling you to uh, choose uh, the area you want your action to run on so I'm going to just brush uh, this section right I'm just going to minimize my brush a little so I'm just going to brush the parts which I want my effect to um, run on so I think it's excellent uh, I'm just going to click the play button one more time so the rest of the process uh, works. So depending on your system, uh, it might take a few minutes. So you just need to have a little patience and wait until your action is run. It might take two or three minutes uh, that we have the completion message. So I'm going to just put the video on uh, fast forward so it doesn't take much of our time and bore us. So here we go, our action is uh, run successfully and we have our message right here. Just uh, click on stop and here we go. As you see how beautiful our uh, action is created, this half tone effect. So uh, let me just uh, start from the layers. As you see, we have so, so many different styles uh, which is created for us right here you just need to click on any one of these styles just like this uh, and as simple as you see uh, you can uh, choose your ideal style from this list you see right here just notice that uh, there's a number beside each one of these groups so this number uh, shows the thickness of the lines uh, which you have uh, on your image and any more is added to the number um, the thickness is going to change as you see so uh, as easy as you see we just uh, made a single click and we have so many different half tone effects which is absolutely magnificent and we even have uh, more effects at the top which depending on the image uh, which you select and um, the styles that create uh, might not all of them be 
um, perfect, but we have created so many stars for you right here, which um, I'm sure one of them would be suitable for your image. So don't worry about anything. I'm just going to uh, choose one of these stars, for instance, this star. Uh, so uh, we're just going to edit a little more and see how it works. So I'm going to open this group. We have two layers right here. Uh, which both of them are shapes. It's very interesting. By clicking on the stroke, you can just um, change your color and have any color you wish. And also, you can change the color of the background as easy as you see, which is so, so amazing and allows you to have any color you have in your mind. So I uh, just want to uh, teach you a trick right here. So if you want a special area of your image and these shapes to have a special color, uh, you just need to do one thing. Uh, if you uh, pay attention right here, we have these lips right here, which are red. Uh, so uh, I want to have uh, this same color on my halftone effect. So what I need to do, uh, I'm just going to uh, select my pen tool and place it on shape. I'm just going to click. Uh, a little bit more this side from the uh, lines and start drawing a shape and creating a shape right here around the lips and I'm just going to put the color on uh, my ideal color which is red right here and uh, just uh, click on shape one inside of the stroke just right click and select create clipping mask and as you see um, this color is applied to uh, our shape and you can also edit uh, easily if you select direct selection tool you can just um, make sure and um, make some changes right here and play around with the dots and have your color in the right spot or you can just um, create a red layer right here or any other color just create a layer this is the easier way and select one of the selection tools or even brush I'm just going to um, preferentially have a hardness brush right here uh, choose a color um, and just brush the parts you want which is much more easier than uh, what we done earlier on so um, you can also uh, have uh, these different colors any other parts you want for instance I want this part to be a little more red so I'm going to do the same thing just brush and here we go so it's not a hard job at all you just need to have a little patience and creativity and get to your ideal result in this halftone effect easily so uh, the next thing you need to know is that some of these lines and spots might be extra uh, you could just select the past selection tool or direct selection tools any of them and select these dots one by one for instance i don't want these dots to be right here i'm just going to click on them select them one by one even the lines and just erase them as easy as you see uh, so i'm creating exactly what i want with my tools uh, one more here and uh, you're totally free and you have a complete control on everything so now i want to show you how you can get a vector outcome from your style it can be so so interesting so uh, i'm going to just get a vector outcome from this image right here and test and see how it works on softwares like illustrator so the first thing i need to do uh if you have um added any colors to your um image you need to just um remove it and erase it because it might make your vector outcome not work properly so just erase your shapes and just leave the background and stroke tick on so i'm going to just select convert to small objects for both and now they're converted i'm just going to right click one more time and select edit content so uh, the new window is going to appear right here and now uh, depending on the version of your photoshop just select file and save as copy so if you use higher versions uh, and you don't see this um selection just select save as and uh, right here you can just select the address you want your vector um to be created so i'm going to um, select the name for it and put the format on photoshop eps so everything's perfect just select save and right here in this window make sure that this tick is selected we don't need anything else uh, we just select ok and our 
vector outcome is successfully prepared for us. So we're going to just open our vector file right here, just double click. And here we go. As easy as you see and as professional as you see, uh, we have our vector outcome. We can also um, edit and customize it in Illustrator however you want, which this is a fantastic ability. So this was the whole of our uh, halftone effect. So I'm going to just um, run the full version on this image as well. It won't give you any messages about the brush. Uh, you just run uh, the action and everything is going to uh, work automatically until you have your completion message. So here we go, this is our completion message. Our action is applied successfully. We have all of our different um, styles right here, as we learned earlier on, and you can see how amazing and clean it looks, just like a professional artwork. And uh, the results are honestly brilliant. So uh, you can also uh, use its own colors to give a color to it, for instance, I'm going to select this one. Uh, I'm going to use two of the colors just like this. Here we go. And now easily, I'm just going to um, add them colors and select them. I think if I change the colors a little, it might have a better effect just like this. And one more time. I'm going to just select this color and as beautiful as you see, this image is converted into this fantastic halftone style. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. To download, just refer to hyperfix.net, uh, get the VIP membership and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also like the video and share it with your friends. We're going to have so many new products for you which are going to surprise you so much so don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the new videos thanks for watching this video have a great day bye to one more video